Hi, good morning, everybody. Today's morning devotional. Matthew 24, 14 says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to the whole world, and then the end will come. Now, what's going on in Matthew 24 is this. Jesus is talking about the last days and the end times when God starts to pour out his eschatological wrath. Eschatological means future time wrath on the world. Now, We've taken that for a long time. You've probably heard it preached by many pastors. They say, well, what that means is when the church gets the gospel around the whole world, when the last person hears the gospel, then the rapture is going to happen. Well, that's not what Jesus is talking about. Not what Jesus is talking about at all. I'd like to think that, you know, if we get to the last person to hear the gospel, then we're out, and then you got to think about it. Well, there's other people being born. There's other people in different parts of the world that may have never heard. What Jesus is talking about in this context is really awesome. It, it, it correlates with the book of Revelation. When the book of Revelation says, finally, the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. So we think, we think, we take the word gospel and we automatically say that it means the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ because Paul defines it that way in 1 Corinthians 15. Well, gospel means good news. And yes, the good news Paul was talking about in 1 Corinthians 15 is the death, burial, resurrection of Christ. But there's other good news. Like, for instance, when Jesus started preaching the gospel of the kingdom, right? It says Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom. I believe it's in Luke 9. Um, he didn't die yet. He wasn't buried. He wasn't r risen yet. But it was good news that the kingdom was there because the king was on the scene. So what's going on here in Matthew's gospel is, is in that last day time period, there's going to be an angel, it says in the book of Revelation, that flies through the heavens preaching the everlasting gospel, preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And that means this. What kingdom? God's kingdom is finally coming to the earth. That's what it means when it says, Jesus says this gospel of the kingdom will be preached throughout the whole world and then the end, end will come. It's the good news of the kingdom, that it's coming to the earth. So after the horror of the last days, Jesus is saying the kingdom is coming. The kingdom is coming. Finally, the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. That's the good news in Matthew 24, that his kingdom is coming. Now listen, that doesn't mean it's not also good news for us to get the gospel of the death, burial, and resurrection out there to the whole world. That's the church's job. But in Matthew 24, when he says, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to the whole world and then the end will come, what he's talking about is the good news of that time is that the kingdom is going to come and the preaching's going to be, the kingdom's coming, the kingdom's coming, the kingdom's coming. You better repent. The kingdom is coming. That's good news.